Hello everybody and today we are going to look at changing our tool numbers, the smoothing operation within the camp strategies and the stock setup. So the first one we're going to do is the tool numbers, it's the easiest one. So when you're up in the manufacturer tab right here, you're going to go over to your tool library and we need to redo the tool numbers to make sure that they match what we have in the milling machine. So whatever the tool number it is, so I'm in the ones for the little car, so I can click on it, right click, edit tool and you're going to go over to the last tab and you can change the number right here. Uh, you could do like length and diameter offsets and all that, but the only thing that's of concern is our tool number. We hit accept and that should carry across all platforms. Now notice I'm in the shoe car version five. That's the folder. Now if that folder is shared with another person, it should stay the same. Like it, it'll change to whatever it will. Um, if you have the cloud libraries also enabled, you should be good to go and that should be like whatever computer you're going on to you should be good it should carry over so that's the first one the next one uh our uh bench mill that we have is not the fastest of machines and occasionally you'll get these massive codes from this so like this first adaptive operation is a relatively large code if we want to kind of streamline it a bit we can go over into our fourth tab where it passes. If we come down onto the bottom here, you'll see that there's a smoothing operation. What smoothing does is basically if we have arcs that's made of a bunch of points, it's going to remove some of those points and make the arc a little bit kind of like more fluid around fewer points, which as a result makes the number of lines of code go down. So I've toyed with the settings a little bit on this and I usually go with 0 0.001 inch or a thousandth of an inch for the smoothing and it works out pretty good. You can also take that tolerance and bring it up to about a thousandth of an inch as well. Uh, between the two, between the tolerance and the smoothing, you can drop quite a few lines of code off. As a result, the machine's gonna run a little bit better and process those lines a little bit more quickly. So I recommend about a thousandth of an inch for the tolerance and for the smoothing. So those two things right there, we need to thumb. And there it is. You can try going up like to a couple of thousands, maybe like two or three thousands, uh, increasing those numbers, which will decrease your lines of code. Uh, the next thing is some people are having problems with the stock setup. So if we go over here, right click, I'll just take, show you mine. What we need is this work coordinate system, your XYZ, to be in towards the front left corner of the machine. So you're going to have to change these. You go to box point, you can pick a point and set your axes. Now here you can select X and Y and flip them. It's a little bit of a game to get them orientated correctly, but that's the way it needs to be. Also, you have to have your width set to six and a half, depth two and a half, height and Z of two. And you want the model to be as close to the top as possible, if not maybe like a 10th of an inch below the surface. So it only has to melt a little bit and that will get you good to go for the project. This also leaves room because we put screws that go up into the bottom to hold the wrench shape in place. So by having it all set to the top, we know that we're not gonna mill into that. So those three things are all I wanted to do in this video. Uh, if there's any other questions, I will post more videos, but that is it for now. Have a good day, everyone, bye.